Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of surface area and we are going to do it by looking at different 3D solids and their nets. So when I'm talking about a net, that means that we're taking a 3D solid, so in this case we have a rectangular prism. So let me draw a 3D version here, or at least my best rendition of this 3D version of this rectangular prism. And so we're used to seeing something like this, maybe a few dotted lines to kind of show what the what the back of them look like. And then what we have here is our net is pretend like we just took like maybe a box cutter and just split this open. And so you see we've got our bottom right down here and our top right up here. That's what these two are. So if we want to find the total surface area of this rectangular prism, what we do is we take a look at this net, which is just the shape opened up, and we look at the surface area of each of the different components. So for this top and bottom, those are identical. You see we already have, for all of these actually, since we are going to be looking at rectangles, we can look at either base times height, or we can look at length times width. You you pick, it's going to end up being the same thing, but on this, you see we've got a 3 times 6. So that's very easy. That's going to be 18 centimeters squared. And I can go ahead and just transfer that over here because the top and the bottom are congruent. So we've got 18 centimeters squared for both of those. So let me just add those up here. 18, 18. We're going to kind of keep those going here. Now we've got these two connecting ones right here. And so that's kind of like this one right here. And then there's one on the back, but it's going to be kind of hard to see. And so you see that it's got uh, length of 2, and it's still got, going to have that height of 6. So it's going to be 2 times 6. This is going to be 12 centimeters squared, which means that this is going to be 12 centimeters squared. So we can just add that to our list. I'm just going to make a big addition column here and then we've got another two right here and these are the like the front flap and then the back flap is completely hidden here so we've got two centimeters which means this is going to be two centimeters so there's our length times width it's going to be that three times two it's going to be six centimeters squared for both of those and so we're just going to add six and six and add those up and we are going to get our answer. So 8 and 2 is 10, 8 and 2 is another 10, 20, 26, 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 72. Now we're just dealing with surface area so it's going to be centimeters squared because we're adding up a whole bunch of different areas. Let's see what it looks like with a square based pyramid. So this pyramid is a lot easier to see. If we're looking at the top, we just took where these four points would normally come together and just flattened them out. So really, we only have two shapes that we need to deal with, right? So there are five faces, four triangular, and then that square base. But we simply need to find the area of this square base. So that is going to be length times width again. So that's 36 square feet. That's the easy one. Let's go ahead and put that there. 36. Now we need to remember that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Now all of these triangles are congruent, so let's just find one of them and then multiply that by four. So the area of a triangle is going to be one half. My base is going to be this side of the square, so that's going to be six. And they give us the height of nine. All right, so let's just go ahead and multiply the 1 half times 6 first. 1 half of 6 is 3 times 9. That equals 27. So we can either add 27 four different times. I'd rather go ahead and just do 27 times 4 since I know that I've got four of these 27 square feet all the way around. I'm just going to kind of draw some arrows, save some time. And so let's see, 7 times 4 is 28. 4 times 2 is 8, add that 2 is 10, so I've got 108, and we can add this 14, so there we go, 144 square feet is the surface area of this rectangular or this square-based pyramid.